Welcome everyone uh, to this Lightboard session where we're going to learn a little bit more about vSAN. Uh, in this particular uh, Lightboard session, we're going to look at vSAN file services. What is it? How does it work roughly? And, you know, why might somebody want to use it? So previously, if you wanted to put files on vSAN, you would have to go create a Windows VM or create a Linux VM and export, you know, an SMB share or export NFS. Um, and people wanted a simple way to build a highly scalable um, you know, file share structure. And one of the challenges sometimes with traditional file systems um, is, you know, when you start scaling them and scaling them from a single VM, one, as you add more shares, you're still hairpinning on that one virtual machine. The other thing also is some file systems, they start to get a little weird when you go past 100 terabytes, honestly, um, some of the more traditional ones. And so we actually built a new file system and we built a, a file uh, sharing platform for file services that scales out on top of this. And this gets around some of the limitations of just using virtual machines. Not that they're always a bad choice. So we are able to export uh, NFS v3 as well as v4. With v4, we do support uh, Kerberos-based authentication and access control lists, as well as traditional IP access lists. Um, each share um, as a, is a collection of objects and it will actually get its own policy. So your RAID policies and things like that that you assign with vSAN um, they would also be assigned and take here. And so as you create those, you assign those out. We also support the ability to export a share as SMB. Now this is, you may people hear people say SIFs, really what they generally mean with that is SMB. This is uh, the standard uh, file sharing format commonly used by both Windows and Mac OS today. Um, this is commonly used for things like home directories, traditional file shares in regards to that. This structure, because of how it uses containers that are automatically substantiated um, across these hosts, we have these virtual machines uh, that are actually, uh, they're managed by the ESXi agent management service. They're automatically spun up. These, these stateless containers automatically pop up there. And these actual objects are automatically concatenated for the file systems. The, one of the benefits about the vSAN file services is it uses, in many ways, the, the same underlying object storage-based approach for those file shares. So if we have a file share, we, we will simply create that within the vCenter server UI. We're going to assign a storage policy. Uh, to it. And we can have this using a level of failure to tolerate of one or two using um, mirroring or erasure coding. And it's going to uh, apply that level of resilience as prescribed by that given storage policy. So you have a lot of flexibility here. The thing that we want to keep in mind here is, is that we know there's a lot of great uh, filers out there in the industry, many who have been doing it for a long, long time. One thing that, that the vSAN file services works out really uh, good with is you may have environments or situations where you may not have a filer available, or you may have a filer available, but it's in the wrong uh, office or location. This means that anywhere that you're going to have vSAN, you have the ability to, to host SMB-based or NFS-based uh, file shares. And from a, from a configuration basis, this also does support a CSI driver. So if you need to do uh, automated NFS share specifically for Kubernetes, uh, there is a container storage uh, interface. That's what CSI is. Um, this is basically a way for the container administrator to automatically substantiate file shares as part of their YAML configuration. So if you've got some DevOps workflows that you want to be able to enable uh, for file shares, this is a really easy way to do that in a scalable way um, and you're not constantly having to answer tickets for creating file shares. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the vSAN file services within vSAN, uh, feel free to go out to core.vmware.com. Uh, you can find a number of resources out there that we go into great details uh, for the design, uh, the operation, and the optimization of vSAN file services. Uh, thank you very much.